Hello, hello, this is Stephanie, a.k.a. Uh, Ed Nihas Tusa Bakba, a.k.a. Tent Tero. And as you see, I am back in my element in the tent doing readings for you guys. All right, um, doing uh, daily readings today. And now we're on the sign of Libra. So, Spirit, what does Libra need to know for their high... high <laughs> what does Libra need to know for their highest good on today? Clarity of thought. Slow and steady. Standing your ground. Victory. So we have the seven of wands. The six of wands. Palace of... We begin with the palace of coins. And then we have the knight of coins. And then we have the seven of wands, the eight of I mean the yeah, seven of wands and then the six of wands. So, uh, looks as though you guys may be having uh, some self-deception going on. And you need to be vigilant about seeking clarity and grounding yourself. Because um, we have the Eight of Swords here, which talks about anxiety. But also, you know, the Empress card. So, like you said, you need to spend time nurturing your nurturing yourself nurturing you know developing a more nurturing inner self-talk with the palace of wands i mean palace of swords here and the knight of coins he's grounded he's slow he's methodical he's, you know in his approach and you need to you know replace the negative self-talk that you may have with more loving self-talk and that will you know, open you up to happiness and unconditional love. You know, taking control of your feelings and being more uh, emotionally intelligent. Using more emotional intelligence. Not getting so caught up in your feelings. But balancing that out the emotions with intellect. Taking matters into your own hands. Bottom of the deck, the Knight of Swords. So, you know, maybe someone came in and has you, you know, doubting yourself. And so it took you into a place of self doubt, pretty much. You know, they said some negative things and you began to believe it, but it's time for you to cut, cut out, cut that out. <laughs> you know, stand your ground in knowing that you are worthy with the rewards and recognition here. in the self deception or be vigilant of, of the things that other people say that you know they may seem like they're trying to help but they're really kicking you while you down there's some people that are pros at that Standing ground, you're really gonna find out how strong you are. 
So we got the three of wands to come out with getting clarity and taking your time. We get the three of wands. You are successful. You're watching your ships come in. You're actively waiting. And what actively waiting is, is while your ships are coming in, you're still strategically planning your next move, you know, re reviewing everything to see if there is any places where you could improve or do things better. So, you're standing your ground. Standing your ground. And you're going to be victorious once you uncover through the contemplation and everything you did uncover what it is that you need to work on uncover the underlying issues of why you know you may not have clarity of thought nine of pentacles Truly really loving yourself and filling your own cup. And then we got, you know, the Nine of Pentacles here with the Queen of Wands. She takes matters into her own hands, self awareness, self mastery. So that's where your focus needs to be today. self-awareness, self-mastery, contemplation, uh, reflection. Standing up for what you believe in. Strategizing your next move with love. That selfless giving is an elixir so sweet and life giving and amazing that it should be customary for everyday living. Right now, generosity is being asked of you. Let go of a debt, release an obligation, or do a solid kindness to someone for no reason for for no other reason than as an exercise of the heart. You will be surprised how quickly a generous heart is repaid. We know it often doesn't happen in the immediate exchange, so temper your expectations. Know that life has an uncanny has an uncanny way of sending miracles seemingly unrelated to your kindness, yet interconnected in magical ways. The more you act from generosity, the bigger your heart grows and the more love and abundance you will experience. We also know that someone could be entering your life with a generous offer. With a generous offer for you. Take it and trust you are worthy and deserving of it. You have to receive, not just give, with the Knight of Cups here. Someone is probably coming to you with a generous offer. So make sure you, you, you think clearly about it. Contemplate it. Make sure it's in the, in line with your with your spirit and and where you are, are where you are in life. And if it matches up, if it matches up, then take it. Spirit says it does or it will. All right. Well, that's your reading for today. Um, it's Libra. Until next time.